Hi guys, you're welcome back to the Lore Studios. We'll be talking about generating a basic location uh, of a particular device, i.e. an Android device. We're going to be using the library, the Google Play services, uh, in which we'll be getting uh, the latitude and longitude coordinates of the particular location where the device is. I'll be moving straight to Android Studio where I have the source file of this particular application. It's a demo. So I would like you to follow along as I explain some uh, important modules of this particular analysis. Right there in the build gradle, the module app session, I have the compile com.google android, the GMS, the, that's the Google Play services 8.1.0. Uh, we have higher ones like the 9.4.0, but I'm using the 8.1.0 for this particular uh, integration. Afterwards, you synchronize Gradle, and I'll be moving straight to the layout where I have the main activity XML of this particular application, which is the UI launcher. It's a linear layout with the layout with the night match parent, rotation, vertical, padding bottom, left, right, top, hours, 16 and 64 DPs, respectively. It has a text view where I assign an ID to it called the latitude text. We have for the second text view, which is the longitude text. Afterwards, uh, I have the values, we have the strings, which says uh, the app name, the basic location, the latitude label, the longitude label, and the no location detected. So if it actually detected no location, it's going to uh, have a string of no location detected. Make sure location is enabled on the device. So you actually need to enable a uh, location on your Android device. I'll be going straight to the main activity of this particular application, the Java class, which extends app compact activity and implements connection callbacks and on connection feed listener. We have a protected taxi final string called the main activity, and we're going to provide the entry point to the Google Play services, which is creating an object called the mGoogle API client. Now we're going to represent a geographical location based on the M latitude label, the longitude label, the same thing goes for the text view, for the latitude text and the longitude text. I have the onCreate method that call on the layout main activity I've just talked about. And we assign the M latitude label string as latitude, whereby it's getting the string from the latitude label. The same thing goes for the longitude as longitude. We have for the latitude text that call the ID, you are initializing the latitude text and the longitude text. We're passing the build Google API client method here. So we'll get to see what this method is. So this method is going to use the add API to request the location services API. So now we have them Google client, we're instantiating this with the Google API client. We're going to add the connection callbacks add on connection fed listener to this particular method we also add the api now this is calling the location services api we talked about and we build up this particular method the on start connects the mgoogle api client while the on stop this connects the mgoogle api client just straightforward now it's we're going to run a google api client object successfully connect to check if it's actually connect successfully so this provides a way of getting a device's location and is well suited for applications that do not require a fine-grained location and that and do not need location updates. So it's going to get the best and the most recent location currently available which may be null in rare cases when the location is not available. So this is what this is actually going to do and toast. If location is not detected, if it is, it's going to actually pass the particular latitude to the text and also the longitude. We have on connection field. This is referred to the Java doc of connection results to see what error codes might be returned in on connection field. That's where you log this to tag. On connection field, there's going to be a connection result to get the error code we have on connection suspended. 
you know, the connection to Google Play services was lost for some reason. So we're going to call the connect to attempt to reestablish the connection. So that's what this is actually doing. So it's going to reconnect the M Google API client. Let's get to look at the manifest of this particular application. Uh, we need to include a permission called the Android permission access course location. Afterwards, we need to lock in the metadata of the com.google.android.gms version. And uh, we need to call the launch activity, which is the main activity. That's all for the manifest. I'll be showing the screencast of this particular application. And I will also uh, be uh, generating the latitude and longitude. So from there, we go to the Google Maps to actually get the real uh, location on the maps based on the latitude and longitude coordinates. Now we're on Google Maps, so we need to pass in the latitude and longitude gotten from the, uh, the basic location so that we're going to actually display the, uh, the visibility of the location right on the maps. So we have the latitude first, which is our six point five seven six five seven seven. You add a comma with a space, followed by the longitude, which is three point two eight two eight six four. Afterwards, you click on your search to search that particular latitude and longitude location. You get to see a marker that depicts where this particular location is. So can you get to see this? So this is where the location of the device at the moment was. You can get to bring it closer or you can get to get it based on this marker we get to know where the location is of this particular coordinates. Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.